a lot of bands now are getting very technical, very heavy, you know, it's very guitar driven, whereas we wanted to make it more about the music and the things that will connect with us, us and the songs and the songs and our fans. So we really made the priority the songwriting itself, not the musicianship, and in turn, we were able to make some of the best songs we've ever had, having about two years to work on the music and about a year to work on the visuals. So it's been an entire process and an entire package with this record, having everything from a new band logo to a new symbol to new artwork to new music video style to new live DVD style and to the music itself. So it's been a very lengthy process, but the, but the entire package now. Now, like, just a lot of new influences and just, like, a lot of new interests in the band. It kind of, uh, just we kind of looked at everything we'd done before and thought that, like, the music videos weren't, weren't really anything that super special and the artwork, like, never, there was never really as much emphasis on, like, the creative side of uh, the packaging and the artwork and the videos as much as the focus was on the music. So we wanted to kind of bring everything up to the, the level of, uh, of the music and uh, just kind of like do something like different than what we've done and different than like the standard kind of heavy metal album cover that's that everyone does. We kind of like went a different art direction that, you know, kind of was like outside the box from what we've done and kind of stands apart from a lot of the other, you know, artists out there. Colin Merson was producer, Ginge Ford was co-producer, and Carl Baum was engineer. It was amazing to finally go to work with Colin because he's mixed a bunch of our records, but he's never actually produced any of our records, and we really wanted to have him see it through from start to finish. All those guys have, you know, all the technical skills and know how to, like, you know, do all the, the studio stuff with how to uh, capture sounds correctly and, you know, translate it from, like, the source to the, to the recording. And uh, well, we just kind of always had an idea you know, we, we knew what we wanted everything to sound like, but we're just, you know, not capable of, you know, actually capturing it like he can. So we kind of just, like, try to describe to him in our head, like, what we're going for and stuff, and then he, uh, you know, made it happen. So I think having him, instead of just mixing it, getting someone else's tracks and tones and stuff, it's like he got to be there from start to finish and, like, build the whole thing with us. So it's like he got to see the one person seeing the whole vision of the, of the project instead of passing along to different people along the way. And their production style, I mean, you, you can hear the difference. Like, it's the best sounding record we've ever had. Um, the whole thing with this record, the song titles, the lyrics, the album art, the videos, everything that has been in the, the creative process is completely open interpretation and we're not giving explanations what it is to us. Like I haven't even really said to even band guys what the songs and the lyrics are supposed to mean. I think that when people are given a preconceived set idea or being told what they're supposed to think going into something, they can never make up their own minds of what they feel like it is to them. So we're trying to reinstill the imagination and the creative process in the listeners and the viewers themselves as well. So it's, there is no right or wrong answer. Probably my favorite is uh, Caustic Are the Ties That Bind. Yeah, that's The middle section is like one of my favorite things we've ever written. So that makes a big you know, selling point for the, tr the whole track and that's been pretty much a majority, you know, a lot of people have really dug that song that have, we've talked to. So uh, I'm gonna go with that one for now. Every day is a little different. I mean, I was gonna pick that one, but um, I guess I might as well, yeah, the reason why that, that's the same thing for me is it has everything that we do and everything that people loved about our band all in one song, but what's great is the middle section, it, it turns into just a couple clean guitars and, it, and it's almost as if it becomes another song in itself, and it's incredibly minimal but very catchy, so it's like there's a whole other song within a song, and it has all the scope of everything that we've done from incredibly minimal and catchy and simple to brutal and intense and everything else all in one song. It also has tons of really tasteful, very musical guitar solos in the song. So that would probably be my favorite for the day. Hey, wow.